Good morning everyone. Today is kind of an interesting day. I'll put some photos on, but we buried some conduit in the ground all the way from one of our barns all the way down this trail. Buried it late last night. Um, I didn't get the, the video footage that I liked, but um, it turned out pretty good. And we buried it all the way up to this metal pole. And my game plan is a quarter mile away. That house, put a nano beam on there, get internet from there over to this pole, run it up this pole, um, will be a Cat 5, so I'd have Cat 5 to here. The nano beam would shoot it from a quarter mile from here all the way over to the house. And uh, the facilities over here would be able to have internet, which is good for phone usage, data connections, and the number one reason, theft. We need cameras up here. We need the ability to see what's going on and protect ourselves sad on the farm but that's the way it works so for us to be able to do this i'm putting together a piece of pvc here with a expansion joint and a little box i'm going to get that on this end of the post so to speak i'm going to get that into the barn here somewhere um, and then we'll run the cat five from there into the barn now once i get into the barn I still have my challenges because I need to be able to put cameras up here to protect things. So I'm going to need on this wall here some outlets. I'm going to need some Wi-Fi help. So try and get... Oh, shut this down so you can hear me. I'm going to need to get some outlets over here. I'm going to need to be able to put a Wi-Fi in here, a router. Um, I'm going to need to tap into the electrical over there. Route it all the way over the garage door and back down to over there. So it's a big project this morning. And then, if possible, I'd like to get some of these PTZ uh, FOSS cams up. I've got some of them on the farm already. I got a King Wi-Fi device. I've already shown you guys that. We use them in the boat barn. They're so nice because they've got an exterior antenna to broadcast it outside the steel building. Gosh, I got all sorts of stuff in here you know outlets and cables and ends it's just going to be a process folks today so follow along we'll get this thing wired up this will be the first thing we do is get through this wood so we can mount that thing in here because boy if we can do that this is going to be a lot easier so we need to mount the material here and we need the device with the wire coming in up here i think is what i want to do um can use the purling to mount onto so I'll mount onto there and then have the wire come in here and just exit into the barn so I'm gonna give it a try see if I can get drilled through this and make a halfway decent hole all right, all right. first holes in Let's see if we can get this set up to go so here what we're looking at is some of the footage of the farmhands and I getting that trench in Last night went pretty good, PVC'd it um, so we can run the data cable right through it. There's a string inside it. Took the skid steer in the bucket, flattened it out, and got all up to that post there. On the barn now, as you can see, I hooked up the expansion joint and I got it uh, PVC uh, attached and stuff there to the barn. So I'm ready to bring that Cat5 cable in. On the inside, it's kind of start the electrical, um, keeping it up to code, running the UV wire like it's supposed to be for my area so I can pass inspection, get over to a breaker. Not, not the hardest project to do. It just takes time for my bride and I to get up on the ladders, tack down the UV. It's a thicker, it's a harder wire. Wire up the uh, outlets. These are a 20 amp system we're putting in here. Pair of outlets should go pretty smooth here as we're getting through it. So here we got the outlet in. We got the um, uh, RV Wi-Fi router. So I have an antenna on the outside of the barn, antenna on the inside of the barn. Now I just got to bring the data cable in along this beam. And I got to have an access outside for 
the camera. So that's what I'm drilling here now. Just want to get um, want to get camera access kind of on a couple points on this barn. I want Wi-Fi access for phones and internet out here. It's just a, a lot of little details that, that, that this nano beam really, really lets me have, especially from a distance from the farmhouse to the buildings without having to bury cable. So that's a question people ask. Well, why don't you just bury cable from the house to the barns? Well, traditional cat cables lose it after about 500 feet, so they don't have the power. If I want to bring high-speed internet to these barns, I got to come a quarter mile down the driveway and pay the internet provider to cable it, and that's a little bit expensive too. So here I'm hanging up that nice uh, PTZ FOSS cam. They give you a, um, I guess you call it like a stick-on template. That's that's a nice thing. It makes it a little easier for you to get it on. Just got to kind of have it smooth and. You put this little template on, it gives you the screw holes for um, for how to mount it. I know you can do nicer camera systems, folks, but honestly, on the farm, these little boss cams have done a really good job for us for a while. So we're just getting these guys uh, punched, just to make sure I get the, the holes in the right spot. And I've got a purling here behind it. So it's pretty easy to screw into. Anytime you're punching a hole in your barn, you want to make sure you're doing it right. Cost wise, I think the two cameras cost me about a hundred bucks. So I think I got two hundred dollars in there. The nano beams were a hundred bucks, and there was no install fee because Luke, my neighbor. Was gracious, gracious, gracious enough to help us on the farm. Came over. He's got a lot of low voltage experience. He's highly talented in it. So he was um, really nice and came over and helped me with that. So I got a couple bucks, if you want to call them hundreds, that is, into the cameras. I got another hundred into the nano beams. I think the the pipe, the wire, the outlets, and the boxes was another hundred bucks. So I think I've got, you know, pretty much the whole project done. Box um, inside the farmhouse to the nano beam was just another piece of Cat5 wire up through the attic. That was a hot job to quick put it up there just because the temperature of the attic is so hot this time of year. But shy of that, that was an easy install too, and I'll show you part of that. And then obviously the way we'll access these um, is through our phones just how we'd prefer to do it and if we want to store um, footage that's just done online so there's the external antenna that's put up for the uh, Wi-Fi um, that's an RV Wi-Fi unit works absolutely fantastic I've done another video on it um, just I love it that 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 works great cameras now in place I can see all the way down the driveway I can see all the way up the driveway Got one more camera to install. Be ready to kick this thing in gear and kind of get the, the nano system going. I don't think I'll show that last install of the camera, folks. You've you've seen that kind of stuff before on our channel. So here I'm just unboxing the nano. Nano runs over a PoE. What is that? Uh, power over Ethernet. So basically the internet comes into a little white box and you plug a power cord into the little white box. And then that little white box puts the two things together and runs an internet cable to the to the beam. It's really not the hardest. For the house side, I had to buy an antenna mount because um, I have to attach it to my house. So I've got this um, antenna mount here that I bought from Menards, I think for 20 bucks. It's an RCA, you know, um, antenna mount for homes. It came black. I painted it white. Because my house is white. What can I say? So just attaching that with a simple clamp. And then this nano beam will go on the house. And a different nano beam goes on the pole. You open up your phone. They, when you first turn them on, they have a Wi-Fi signal for like, I don't know, 10 minutes they put out. You pick it up on your phone. You put in the same passwords on each. Get, get the two to, to shoot at each other. And it's kind of plug and play. Um, I was impressed how fast Luke had done. 
So I'm out here now at the post, and I'm going to put the nano beam up here at the post. Same thing, you just got a bigger ring for it. Basically, you're going to strap it onto this inch and a half pipe and uh, use the level and point it at the house and hope I get good reception. I'm told these things work absolutely fantastic. So, got the thing mounted, I get it level, and then it's just a matter of getting it shot towards the house right at where the other beam is. It just takes a little fussing. I'm going to paint this whole pole. Haven't gotten to it yet. I'm getting that thing pointed over there. This is pointed over there. It's pretty much just uh, hook the wire up to it now. There's a bottom case at the bottom here that it goes into. So time to get the spool of wire and get it pulled through that PVC and uh, start hooking things up. Um, I don't anticipate that being too tough of an issue because we've got a string already ran through the PVC. So pull the wire through, zip tie the tube up to the top of this pipe, put a cap on it, get her going. It's kind of a two person job. Luke's up there helping me on the other end. It's going good. Got to put uh, cat five ends on these. He's got a proper tool that makes that job go easier. Run this in the barn. This will go all the way up to the um, uh, POE, that little white device. That little white device plugs into the wall for power. And then the internet plugs into that on this end that goes into the Wi-Fi device. We'll set the Wi-Fi up as a repeater. And uh, we'll be in good shape here. It looks like a little bit more wires than maybe anticipated. Remember, I got a camera wire in there and so forth and another external antenna wire. So here we are on the house end of this. I put that um, white RCA antenna holder on the on the house. And then uh, we're putting a cable end on the Cat 5, which comes out of the soffit there, or Eve, whatever you want to call it. And we got the uh, nano beam on this end up. And this this is just this is just neat. So my finger is pointing right at where the other one is, way over there. That's the other set of barns. So that's what we're going to try and get internet to. As long as I'm up here, we'll take a nice panoramic shot to the farm. Very pretty tonight up here. For some reason, Luke and I were blessed with good weather to do this. So here we are up at the barn. It's plug and play now. Just turned everything on. And I'm on my phone. This is a phone shot. That's why it's a little herky-jerky of me running the camera on my phone. I'm uh, seeing all my barns up here right now. I've got night vision ability, works great. This first camera, I can see all the buildings and doors. The second camera, I can see my road. Gosh, folks, this was nice for 400 bucks. And I'm only using the house's internet. We're up and running. Appreciate you liking and subscribing. If you got a building that's far away from each other, consider one of these nano beams. Works pretty good, folks.